Hi again, everyone. Uh, video number two in helping grade nine students model line segments on a flag. And we are continuing to use the pride flag. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to model a vertical line segment. These are a little bit different. So I'm going to zoom out a bit drag it over here. And I've still got those endpoints over here. But sometimes what you can do um, in Desmos is click on the image and it can actually give you some characteristics that you might find useful for specific goals. So I'm noticing here that the corners have very specific points. And actually, if I click on them, it can give me the ordered pairs that I need. So I'm actually going to change the sliders to fit those ordered pairs. So X1, I think it was 2.65. Oh, I'm wrong. It goes five. There it is. And the Y value was 2.65. That's what it was. Here. X value also going to be five. And the Y value is going to be negative 2.65. Now you're going to notice a very interesting idea going down here. I still have this idea of the slope where we have our slope formula, y2 subtract y1 divided by x2 subtract x1. You're noticing it says undefined. Well, we're going to kind of uncover why it is undefined. So I think what I should do is I should take a screenshot here. I'm going to substitute into the formula and just get into that a little more. It is going to actually help us understand how to create the linear relation that is going to model this segment. So I'll just go m equals y2 minus y1 and divided by x2 minus x1. And I'm going to use the values that are over from our screenshot. So Y values are 2.65. Oops, that should be negative. And then I'm going to say subtract. 2.65 and my x2 value is 5 x1 value is 5 and I have 5 subtract 5 is 0 and that would be negative 5.3, just going to make sure, negative 2.65, subtract 2.65, excellent. All right, so we actually have a slope of negative 5.3 over 0. Now, sometimes students think, well, that equals 0, or that equals negative 5.3. But really, the concept here that we want students to um, take away is that we can't divide a number by zero. You can't divide negative 5.3 into zero groups, okay? You can divide by one, and you can divide by other values, but you cannot divide anything by zero. It is going to be what we call, and definitely what we saw in Desmos, undefined. Well, what does that actually mean?
for our equation of the line. For most linear relations, we'll use this, but it won't work for an undefined slope. We can't use it. So we have to think this. When we see this edge here or this line segment, we notice one thing. It has x values with that. It shares all it's the same x values. So here there's an x value of five. And here there's also an x value of, oops, this one is getting moved. Make sure that I get that back. X value of five, there we go. So what we want to make sure is that we conceive all the points along this line segment all having the same x value. So the general formula for a vertical line, we could say x equals a, okay? And in this case, okay, our common x value is five. So it has a special form, okay? This is the form for a vertical line. All right. So let's go enter x equals 5 into decimals. We can get rid of some of these things to tidy it up x equals 5. So you'll notice vertical line, but I need to restrict again, shorten the line, okay? And so here we're going to use the y values, right? And I believe that I just moved that one. It should be 2.65. So what we want is this, okay? We want the lowest y value to be the one down here. And we want the highest y value to be the one down here, up here. So we're going to go y2 less than equal to y less than equal to y1. And now you can see this. Now this works. You have to make sure that you choose the point that is lower and put it on the left hand side of this double inequality and then the point that's higher use that y value and put it there in the inequality so there we have it we have now shown you how to model a vertical line segment on a flag using the pride flag thanks for watching and bye for now